Hello world, I'm Angelot, and I'd like to talk to you about the building blocks of the D3.js community. If you've used D3, no doubt you've seen a ton of examples. Examples are a great way to see the capabilities of the library, and with thousands of shared code examples online, there's no shortage for learning how to use D3. Mike Bostock, the creator of D3, made blocks.org so he and others could create and share more examples. He explains his motivation in an amazing post chock full of examples of examples being awesome. The de facto way of sharing an example in the D3 community is to create a block. A block is a window that renders the index.html of a GitHub GIST in an iframe. Blocks are created for a variety of reasons. To demonstrate sophisticated techniques, to show how to use core features, and making small tools that help you understand what those core features do. Blocks can be made to share experimental new layouts that combine multiple visualizations, or to get feedback from members of the community during the development of advanced features. And finally, blocks are a great way to get help when you're stuck. I'm an avid block maker and D3 practitioner. I like building tools that help me get better at programming, and one of those tools is Tributary. Tributary is an in-browser editor that makes it quick and easy to create SVG-based D3 examples. It has some fun features inspired by Brett Victor that help you explore ideas quickly. Most importantly, it allows anyone to create a GitHub GIST-backed example with the click of a button. Here I'm playing with my friend Eric's example demoing SVG filters. I tweak one of the variables in his code and decide I want to save the result. One button click later, I have my own version of the example. Unfortunately, tributary GISTs aren't compatible with blocks. So what do we do if we want to make our own block starting from a cool example? First, we are going to navigate to the gist that backs it. The gist is where the code is stored, so we want to fork it to our own gist for editing. Then, we use the terminal to clone it onto our computer, so we can open the code in the editor of our choice. Before we edit, we run a local server to make sure the result is what we expect. Then, we can make our change and verify it in the browser. Since we are happy with our change, we can save and commit it to the gist repo, then we push the repo to GitHub. Finally, a full minute later, we can navigate to the blocks.org URL and share our example. Creating a block from scratch also involves a terminal, and although serious D3 users invest in this workflow, I suspect we would see many more examples if we could avoid the terminal altogether. That is why I am proposing to build building blocks, an in-browser editor for creating and remixing blocks. The idea is that you can edit the index.html of a block and see the result of your edits immediately. If you like the results, you can save them as your own block for further editing or sharing. The idea is to take the backend technology and learnings from Tributary and bring them to the blocks ecosystem. With your help, I can focus on building this app for the community. All development will take place in the open on the Building Blocks GitHub repository. Thanks for your support. And I look forward to seeing what kind of blocks you'll be building.